Hello children. Good morning to everyone. How are you all? I hope you are all doing good and staying safe at home. Take good care of your health. Eat properly. Eat healthy food. Sleep properly. Take care of your health. Okay. Today we are going to learn science subject. We have crossed almost four lessons in science subject. First lesson, know your body. Second lesson, parts of a plant. Third lesson, types of plants. Fourth lesson, what plants give us. Under fourth lesson, we had so much thing to learn. And we had almost four sessions in fourth lesson because it is so big and we have learned so much about plants. So for the past three lessons, we learned about plants. What are the parts and what are the types and what are the benefits we are getting from the plant products. That is what we learned in the past three lessons. So now we are moving on to a different topic from that. Okay. The lesson number five topic is baby animals look at this very cute right by looking at baby animals we all love to look at and we all love to take care of that baby animals you all love pet animals right what do you mean by pet animals what do you mean by pet animals pet animals means domestic animals Wild animals, domestic animals are different. Domestic animals means animals that are taken care of by human beings in the human, in the home. And the wild animals are living in the forest. Okay. Dom can you name some of the domestic animals? Cow. Yes. Goat. Sheep. Cat. Dog. Deer. Sheep. Many things. We all love to taking care of all these animals in the home. So we are going to learn about all these baby animals and farm animals. Okay. Okay. Have you seen farm animals? Have you had any uh, experience of bringing up or taking care of uh, animals in the home? Some of you may have uh, dogs or uh, uh, cats in the home, maybe pups or kittens in the home. We all love to take care and we love to see, right? Because it is so cute when they are tiny. Okay, the features, special features and how they live. We are going to learn about that. Look at this picture. What do you see? This is a white bear. Very cute right yes the first thing you need to know is the baby animals are tiny copies of their parents what do you mean by tiny copies tiny means small okay they resemble their parents they look like their parents whether they are mo the mother or the father as how we look human beings you all look like your mother or father like that the animals the baby animals also a small copy of their parents tiny copies of their parents they resemble their parents that is the first thing you must know the second thing is they feed on their mother's milk they all feed on their mother's milk the other it otherwise called as mammals okay m a m m a l s that is mammals mammals means they all feed on their mother's milk okay many of most of the animals like uh, giraffe lion zebra cow dog cat see look at this cat they are mammals look at these kittens they are drinking milk from their mother so most of the animals are mammals they feed on their mother's milk that is the second point 
third one look at this cow dog sheep and zebra all these are mammals they are all feeding their younger ones so they are mammals next the third thing you must know is they all born with their eyes closed which means when they born it is a newborn baby when they are newborn their eyes are closed for two days two or three days okay after some days only it will open their eyes so they all born with their eyes closed especially uh, pups and kittens pups means the younger one of dog kittens means younger one of cat so pups and kittens are born with their eyes closed and the another one is look at this cat it is very tiny right and their its eyes are closed why it is a newborn after some days it will it will it will open its eyes like this how cute it is after it opens their eyes yes after few days only it opens its eyes next another thing is mother the mother animal will take care of the baby always fathers always do not take care of the baby but for us human being both the mother and the father will take care of the baby right but most of the thing done by mother in human being but in animals fathers will not look after the baby only the mother will look after the baby they love they teach something and they cleans the baby animals with their tongue but what about us we all take bath sometimes our parents will give bath when we are small and what about animals animals can't do because they don't have hands like us they have legs four legs we have hands to clean up ourselves so animals clean their baby animals with their tongue like this look at this picture giraffe and the deer they clean up their younger ones with a tongue look at this elephant it teaches the baby see holding the tongue of the younger one and pulling it now to see right yes elephants are taking care not only elephants all the animals taking care of the baby they love the baby look at this elephants they are they are in groups right elephants move around in groups they are called herds h e r d s herds okay when they are in group they are called herds you can't say elephants when they are in group when you uh, see two uh, two elephant you can say elephants but when they are in group you have to say herds so elephants move around in groups they are called herds the younger one of elephant the special thing is mothers and the aunts aunties will take care of the younger elephant father will not look after the baby mothers and aunties will aunts take care of the younger elephant that is special in elephants look at this what do you see the mother and the younger one are playing and fighting whatever i we don't know what they are doing usually mothers play with their babies why they are playing because play makes the baby grow strong okay that is why they are playing usually mothers play with their babies and another one thing is they also teach how to hunt how to fight how to protect themselves look at this picture a tiger a tiger is fighting with the younger one yes and look at this bear a black bear both the uh, cubs are fighting or uh, hunt, uh, try to protect themselves the mother is teaching how to 
protect themselves like this animals are teaching their younger ones how to hunt how to protect themselves how to walk how to look after everything they teach them look at this what what is this what is the name of this animal this is a kangaroo what is the special feature in kangaroo no it this is not like other animals right why because it has a special feature that is pouch what is the purpose of pouch this pouch meant to carry their babies so kangaroos and other another one animal koalas carry their babies in a pouch okay look at the pouch it has and the younger one is sitting inside and another important thing is about monkeys the baby monkeys cling on to their mother's neck or back have you seen uh, monkeys they always hang themselves um, and cling on to their mother's neck or back of the monkey okay uh, and another one important thing is about kangaroos and koalas they have a pouch to carry their babies but for monkeys they don't have pouch so they always cling on to their mother's neck or back that is a difference only kangaroos and koalas have pouches to carry their babies this is koalas i told you about koalas right kangaroo is different koalas is different this is the younger one and this is the mother and the younger one koalas this koalas also have pouch to carry their babies look at the pouch how it has this is the pouch to carry their babies so kangaroos and koalas carry their babies in a pouch but have you seen dogs and cats how they carry their babies look at this this is a cat they carry their babies by holding their neck or head slightly they hold their neck or head slightly and carry it away this is how it holds because it doesn't have a pouch right yes let's see another one video how dog is carrying um its younger one or pup look at this dog this is a pup it teaches the pup how to climb the stairs but it is not able to so the mother dog is holding the head slightly and taking up on the stairs this is how this is how it carries the babies by holding their neck or back next look at this next we are going to learn about water babies many of the mammals live on land mammals means most of the animals feeding their younger ones they live on land but what about the water animals they also feed their younger ones we will look into that what and all water babies suckle while swimming suckle means they they take the feed from their mother that is called suckle water babies suckle they drink milk okay they drink milk while they are swim swimming in the water itself look at this picture this is a sea cow okay they feed the younger ones are fed by its mother next what is this this animal is called walrus yes uh, it has a tusk that is the special feature about walrus this is also a sea animal and it is a mammal next look at this this is a whale whale also mammal and this is walrus feeding their young feeding its younger one under the water and this is also a whale feeding its younger one this is otter 
this is also an a sea animal feed its younger one under water and they it, it can live on land also so what are the things we have learned sea or sea cows otters whale walrus seal all these things are mammals they feed their babies under water so look at this picture what and all we have learned under lesson number 5 baby animals okay we have learned that newborns are fed by their mother's milk when they are newborn their eyes are closed and the mother animals play with their younger ones as the monkey do in this picture look at this picture monkey is playing with the younger one and the tiger is teaching the younger one how to hunt how to protect themselves and about the elephants they move around in groups they are called herds and another one important things the younger elephants are to take care by uh, mothers and ants and the kangaroo and koalas have a special feature that is a pouch to carry their babies and about the water animals they also suckle while swimming under water and dogs and cats they carry their babies by holding their neck slightly in their mouth and they carry away these are all the things we learned under the lesson number five hope you all understood this lesson and sit and learn after you listen to this video when you look into the picture in the book, you will definitely understand what and all I taught you. Okay, children. Revise the portion after you listen to this video. Thank you, children.